Ain't no room for the haters, I got time for jealousy I'm too focused on the music, the money and where I'm headed If it rain on my parade, I'ma get an umbrella Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your drone footage and make it most cinematic. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do once you're in onto your phone and connected to your controller, it turn on your controller and drone, sorry, you want to connect to the Wi-Fi. So mine's just set to the default, so I'm going to connect to that. I've already put in the password. And this might take a while, so just give it a minute. Right, it'll be connected, but it should say no internet connection in a second. So it'll have a little exclamation mark over it, but don't worry about that. Go into the DJI Go app, and then what you want to do once you're in there is go to your camera, but mine's just going to load into there straight away. Then you want to hit like the three bars on the side in the bottom, close to the bottom, not at the top, so with the little sliders on them. So you want to tap that, and I'm gonna, I leave that on auto, so unless it looks really bad, I would leave it on auto, and you can change it if it looks really bad. Then I'm going to go over to the camera section, and I'm going to change the video size. You want to make sure you have that on the highest, so that's 2.7K at 30 frames a second. 24 is really cinematic if you want to film. Then I leave it on MOV format, because I edit with a Mac and Final Cut Pro and that's the best format, MP4 of your windows, leave that on NTSC, then I leave the white balance, I put it on custom, so you be, don't put it on auto or any of those presets, you just adjust it when you're out there so it, for it to look the best, so auto as you can see it like, so I usually just leave it on 5200, 5200, but if I, if I need to change it, I change it. Then style. Now a lot of people ask about this. You want to leave it on custom, so minus three for the triangle, then the semicircle, minus two, and then plus zero. I know that sounds like I don't know anything, but I'm pretty sure that's sharpness, contrast, and saturation. And I reckon that looks the best in custom instead of standard, because standards um, it doesn't look best in post. And colour. A lot of people are really confused about this, where they should go normal, D log or D Sydney like. Now, if you don't want to color grade, you just want raw footage, I'll go normal. But if you want to color grade, I recommend D-Log. Um, D-City like is basically the same as D-Log, just a bit more saturated. So D-Log's up and D-Log brings out the highlights a bit more and oh, like exposes it a bit more. And then D-City like is a bit more saturated. And the last thing for getting the best look, if you're filming in D-Log or D-City like, you want to color grade to make it look good. And I left five... Um, the ultimate LUT pack, which is in the description. I know it says free, but it's actually not. Sorry that I stuffed up in the thumbnail. It's three dollars seventeen, or I'll pay whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna leave that in the description to myself. I, I do have some other products that can be free, but yeah. But that's it for this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, share with your friends, and if you enjoy it, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.